as one of the original dancers on Strictly Come Dancing, Anton Dubeka is well and truly part of the furniture. The father of two joined the BBC One show when it launched in 2004, famously being partnered with the older, or more reluctant, contestants. Then his dreams came true in 2020 when he was appointed to replace Motsi Mobuse on the judging panel while she was forced to isolate due to Covid. In 2021, he did his first full series as a judge, and last year it was announced that he would be permanently replacing Bruno Tonioli. But it's been a long journey for Anton to get to where he is. The star first started dancing aged 14 in Kent, where he grew up, and promptly caught the ballroom bug. Years of competition followed and he paid for his passion by working as an interior designer, furniture salesman, baker, financial advisor and painter and decorator. Back then, the now calm and charming star admitted he was anything but explaining how he was obsessed with winning and was a nightmare for his dance partner Erin Bogue. I was the least patient person you can imagine, he told the Daily Mail. I wasn't charming. I was out of control, a bit destructive to myself, to my dance partner Erin, impatient to win I was an absolute lunatic. I wanted it all, and five minutes ago, I should apologize to Aaron, really. As well as having a different personality, before Strictly came along, Anton also had a different name. Born to Hungarian father, Antal Xavier Becca, and Spanish mother, Ascension Gonchi Talema, he was reportedly christened Anthony Becca, although his close pals would call him Tony Becca. As his dancing career started to take off, Anton began asking his nearest and dearest to call him Anton Becca instead of his real name, perhaps in a bid to boost his profile. However, his close friends and family aren't quite sure where the do originates from. Meanwhile, his age was also a long-running mystery. Over the years, he did his best to brush off questions surrounding his age. While he was known as Strictly's oldest professional dancer, he never confirmed how old he actually is, previously stressing that it's probably somewhere between 29 to 42. However, it turns out that Anton is in fact 56 and in 2017 he revealed he had undergone a secret hair transplant in a bid to change his look and roll back the years. Anton, who is married to marketing executive Hannah Summers, became increasingly paranoid about his thinning hair after watching himself on TV. He tried to cover it up with stage makeup, and to hide it by only facing in one direction but eventually headed to a clinic in Dublin for painful transplant surgery as recommended by his good friend, Cold Feet star James Nesbitt. He previously told The Mirror, I think the one big thing for men is their hair. Women have all their things, but men have hair. I was looking at photos and images of myself on television and saw it was going a bit thin at the front. It'd cover it with makeup and make sure I didn't stand under certain lights. Basically, I didn't like it very much. Immediately after having it done I was delighted. I knew it was the best thing it ever done. It'd be happy to tell all men to do it. Despite his delight, Anton admitted no one else spotted the transplant. But he said, I was so happy I ended up telling everyone. I feel 25 again. It's given me so much more confidence when appearing on television or having my picture taken. Meanwhile, landing his dream job as a strictly judge has not been without drama. 
The move sparked rumors of a feud between affable Anton and his fiery predecessor, 67, especially when Bruno responded to news of his replacement with, good for him. He needs the money. Anton, however, has insisted there is no bad blood, brushing off Bruno's comments as a joke, although he admitted he hasn't been in contact with the star, who is also a judge on US show, Dancing with the Stars. I think he was just mucking around. I can imagine him saying it. I think it looked more punchy than it was. So I didn't get the hump over it at all. It actually made me laugh, he told the son. I haven't spoken to him. I haven't spoken to any of the judges. It was all down to circumstance really. The situation with flying still isn't ideal, we all know how many flights are being cancelled, and Bruno said to the BBC, listen, I can't do both shows. Thank you very much and good luck.